Hey guys, it's Lisa. So today is a Disney day and I am so excited about today. And I know, I mean, I always say that, but hey, I mean, I'm always excited about a Disney day. But the reason why I'm pumped about today, two reasons. One, the Stony Clover collection has launched here at Disneyland. So we absolutely have to take a look at that and maybe see what other merch is around. But the second reason, oh my gosh, I have the longest list of food that I'm always trying to get here. And Disneyland just keeps releasing more new food. So I think we gotta get a couple items at least to help me out with that list length <laughs> but either way come along with me let's hang out and yes let's have a nice little Disney day oh man it is so sunny today also that line to get in it was so long but that's kind of what I get I came here on a weekend and oh it's a grad night should we be scared I hope not I we're not scared of teenagers no <laughs> I did something so terrible, which is to come here so hungry. I mean, I do it all the time, I can't help it, but I'm walking to Tomorrowland because I'm gonna find food. I'm very excited about what I just got and it's very intense looking. So I went to the pretzel cart over in Tomorrowland and they have a jalapeno cheese pretzel that typically is just the regular pretzel they have, but this time around, it's called the Supernova Pretzel and it's covered in Cheeto dust and hot Cheeto dust, I should say that. And I already tried to rip a piece off and it is so messy, it is such a mess. But I mean, that's totally fine. It also looks amazing. Or is that just me coming here hungry? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go ahead and give it a bite though. Actually, no, I don't want that piece because it doesn't have enough Cheeto dust. Okay, this one's good. It's not amazing and it does have a little bit of spice which i really like and the cheese is nice and creamy and i love bread i love bread so this all around is pretty decent but you can't taste like the cheeto dust also do i have cheeto dust on my face oh no okay you can't really taste the actual cheeto hot cheeto and that's what i came here for but all around i do like this i don't know if i will get it again but i do like it and i'm hungry so this is uh, very welcome right now I came inside of Star Traders because I'm looking for Ewok ears and it's very, very important. Very important. I found them. Oh my goodness. This brings immense, immense joy. Look at how cute these are. Okay, I know that Ewoks are um, kind of silly because they were supposed to be Wookiees, but I still can't help but fall into the trap of loving Ewoks. And so I love these ears. And now I feel as though I need an entire Ewok outfit. Oh my goodness. These are so cute. I'm dying. Look at how cute this is. Oh my gosh, this is just for little kids, so I'm very sad it's not in adult sizes, but this is adorable. Look, it has that nice little pattern, and then we have embroidery right there, and I love that they actually flipped the jersey inside out, so you get the nubby texture, and then you have the regular texture. <gasps> okay, I'm so sad this isn't in my size. Do you think that I would fit into an XL, though? Yes, I'm insane, because I did come back here just to check and they only have larges, which is such a bummer, but I don't know. I feel like maybe that could fit me and it would just be very, very small and very shrunken, but uh, yeah, I should probably just leave it. Okay, I decided to go on Star Tours because the line isn't that long and also it's kind of, you know, hot, so I want to be in air conditioning for just a little bit. Oh, D2, what are you saying? This is madness! <laughs> So that was fun. The only thing is that it was a very rough ride. I haven't been on that ride in so long and so I don't remember it being that rough. Although I think it was also, I, I was in the background so my head kept hitting the wall. It was um, a lot. But anyway, okay, I'm at Galactic Grill. I decided to get dessert. So I'm just waiting for it because I'm over ordered it. I am so excited about this. Okay, so I've been wanting this dessert for a very long time and I'm finally getting it, which is always the best. But this is the Parfait of Mustafar and it's chocolate lava cake, chocolate ganache, red pot -a -choux, filled with salted caramel pudding and red colored white chocolate mousse. I don't know if you could hear it when I was reading that, but I was like, uh, pot -a -choux? I have no idea how to pronounce that, so yeah, let's just go with it. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and get a bite of this. <gasps> It looks so cute. I love how it has like a little round top. It just looks adorably quaint to me. <laughs> but, okay. Oh no, I took 
the top off. Oops, okay, wait, actually, let me turn the camera around, I'll show you. <laughs> So yes, I took the top off, but you can see the bottom layers and honestly there were so many ingredients I honestly don't remember what is what <laughs> It has little chocolate chips, which is kind of nice. So let's go for those Since I already, you know, ruined it <laughs> And let's get a nice little bite. Okay, perfect. This is going well this time <laughs> Okay, let's give it a go Oh wow, I didn't even really realize there's chocolate cake all the way at the bottom. I'm sure I read it, but honestly, I don't remember any of those ingredients anymore. But I was really hoping for that caramel flavor to come through. It's so chocolatey. This thing is so, so chocolatey and very rich. Like there's a middle layer that's very, very fudgy. And then the cake at the bottom kind of evens it out because otherwise it would be a little bit too dense for me. But I mean, overall, this is really good. It's just so chocolatey. And I don't know if I'm in the mood. It's like a little bit too hot for like a dense chocolate treat. <laughs> but I love the way it looks like that top and how it looks like Lava Rock and Mustafar, A plus. It definitely gets like a lot of points just for that alone. We are on the move and I started to slow down a little bit and I do want to go and look for all of the Stony Clover stuff so I decided to get a coffee and since they have a new coffee over at Troubadour Tavern, obviously, I decided to get that one. Oh, I was also gonna say this. Okay, so look who's back. It's the Elliot Popcorn Bucket and how cute is that? I mean, that's very exciting. Oh, and also the turtle sipper. The turtle sipper is back so if you want one or either or both, you can get it now. Ooh, it looks like Tale of the Lion King is just about to start because of all these people. <laughs> so, uh, hmm, maybe we'll get our coffee and then we'll go. Or maybe we'll watch the show. I'll decide in a second. Okay, so no Lion King show. I was definitely contemplating it and then I saw the performers walking by while I was waiting for my coffee and I was like, oh no, it's happening like right now, like right, right now. In fact, I can hear it over there. I don't know if you can, but it's definitely happening just without us. <laughs> so anyway, the drink, I've obviously already had some, but this is cardamom cold brew and it's cardamom and brown sugar and that's it and cold brew. But it's nothing fancy. It tastes nice and sweet, but you can't taste the cardamom. So yeah, I wouldn't say this is special. It's just nice. And I like that there is no creamer, so you know take that for what it is but anyway let's go to downtown disney after this because yes we still have to go see all the stony clover stuff so i'm just sitting here and i've been sipping this but i was just thinking and i wanted to say to you so i put these crystals under my eyes this morning and i did it because i was like oh i need a little morale boost because you know when you don't feel your best you try to look your best okay that's not me i never do that i'm like i don't feel my best i want to wear sweatpants and i want to be a bum but today i tried to be different i tried to like spruce myself up and I think it backfired because I was looking in the viewfinder like this entire time and I'm like, oh my God, it just draws so much more attention to me and my face. And that's not what I want right now. <laughs> so I still like the way they look. I'm just like, why did I do that today of all days? <laughs> I feel fully caffeinated and very ready to go look for the Sony Clover stuff. And they do have it at the dress shop in downtown Disney and Fortuosity shop on Main Street. So we can go to either one, but I'm kind of feeling downtown Disney because maybe I'll go to some of the other shops down there. So here at the dress shop, they have the entire Stony Clover display. Although I will say, I feel like there's a few items that I don't see right off the bat. Yeah, I think there's a couple items missing, but let's take a closer look. I'm starting over here with the biggest item. This is the duffel bag. And okay, in real life, I didn't notice this online, but the stitching right here that shows all the princess silhouettes, it's actually iridescent. So it has a nice shimmer and shine and it really catches the light. So in real life, this is actually much more impressive than it is online. And it is very cute. Although y'all, I'm not a Sony Clover girl, so I don't think I'm gonna be buying anything from this, but I think this is actually pretty cute. I love the entire display they have going on where they mix the stony clover with all the princess clothes. I mean, this is so cute. And this Rapunzel jacket, I love it. So cute. So yes, it's very fitting that they put everything here. But to go back to the stony clover stuff, okay. I love this little pouch. This one is so cute. Look, we have Flounder and Sebastian. Although I will say this is so, so similar to what we've already seen online and the regular Disney princess Stony Clover stuff. And I feel like the other patches are cuter because they have derpier faces and 
I don't know, I just like that more. <laughs> they have the little flounder pouch right here and it's really cute in real life that like his little fins actually stick out. I mean, that's kind of cute. My only question is, what is the appropriate place? Like when and where would you use this? Because I would get scared to put him in say like a duffel bag because his little fins, they're too precious. You don't want to get them all squished. How cute is this Beauty and the Beast beautiful little backpack? Or shall I say big, because this is a pretty big backpack. <laughs> but I love the soft yellow color they used, and I really like the way the gold hardware looks with this bag. And come on, the patches, the patches are always going to be the best part. Look at their silly little eyes. <laughs> I adore that. This is the other backpack in the collection, and okay, this is so silly. Look at these big, gigantic rhinestones. They're slightly gaudy, slightly tacky, but I mean, I think that's the point. And I do like the gold hardware. I think that's nice on this too. And that stitching, all the princess silhouettes are so pretty. I love that this is different from the other stuff we've seen because overall, I do think this collection is very, very similar to what we've already seen. So I like that pattern, that's nice. And here's the little belt bag and I love the color. Love, love, love the color. Love that iridescent shimmery stitching. And I mean, come on, those big rhinestones, they're so over the top. And I do love the gold hardware. I think the gold hardware looks so nice with this color. These are all the patches that we got. And look at this, we have Aurora's crown and it has some really nice little rhinestones on it. And then all of the other patches look so similar to what we've already seen by Stony Clover but the eyes are a little bit more mm, realistic or lifelike or true to, you know, what it should look like. They don't have those beady little eyes. Oh wait, I have to get these back on just a second. <laughs> but look, okay, this one I love. He has the little beady eyes and the silly eyebrows. I think he's so cute. They also have this really adorable denim skirt. And look, I love Cinderella themed merchandise, so this is totally up my alley. It says they can't order me to stop dreaming. And I love that it's a patch. And then we have all of the little sidekick friends around here and even on the other side. And there's a paper bag style waist with a tie and then little buttons down the front. There's a Mulan shirt. I haven't seen Mulan merch in quite some time. And this is a really nice dusty mauve color. It's a collared silky shirt. And we have Mulan right here on the pocket. And she's looking at a little flower. That is so pretty. And I like that little fan in a contrasting color. It's a nice like bright neon coral. And it's a tie front top. I wonder if it has anything on the back though. It does not. But yes, this is a very nice loose drapey shirt. Look at this adorable pouch. Okay, this is so cute. I love the color. It's a very soft peach. One thing about Stony Clover is that I do love pastel colors, so like their pastel color palettes always draw me in. And then we have the little sidekicks. The patches always make it. Although I will say I do like the derpier faces that they have online. I mean, yeah, I like the derp face. And there's Gus Gus. Oh my gosh. Okay, look at his fun little face. And I love that the pouch is his his body that's so silly and we have his little feet and look we even have the special toes because those shoes are too cute and I was wondering what this was but I think it's supposed to be his hands right like going behind his back I think so but either way I mean come on that's so cute <laughs> Recently, every time I come to the dress shop or Fortuosity, I always check the Chris Lou window because I'm looking for that Disneyland necklace, the one that says Disneyland in script, and I don't see it. Although I do see other ones I want, like that little charm necklace back there. It has all the characters' faces on it, and it's so cute. Okay, normally I would not gravitate towards this, but look, it's a little coach keychain and there's something about him that is so cute. I think maybe it's because he looks like a classic Mickey and I love classic Mickey, but look, they really made the three-dimensionalness of him really amazing. Oh my God, look, it even has a bottom lip. What? Okay, they crafted this incredibly. Even the buttons down here are three-dimensional. And then look, he even has like a little leather tail. And I love this, his gloves. Look at his little gloves. That is adorable. Yes, normally I wouldn't go for this, but I kind of love him. Seeing all that Stony Clover stuff, okay, I'm so tempted, but I should also preface this by saying I'm not a Stony girl. Like I'm not one of those girls that collects all the Stony Clover stuff but I am so tempted by that, but even more so, okay, if I were to become a stony girl, 
I would totally get all of the Star Wars stuff they came out with from May 4th. Oh my god, it mixes all my favorite things. It's Star Wars, cute characters, and pastel colors. It's all of like the aesthetics that I want in one thing. So yes, if I were to have a gateway to Stony, it would totally be that collection. I totally walked all the way back to my car and forgot to end the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right now. But you guys, thank you so much for watching. And yes, I will catch you in the next one. <laughs> See ya.